Walter Tavares is the colossal force reigning over European basketball at 7 foot 3 or 220 centimeters and tipping the scales at approximately 120 kilograms. While he has conquered the courts of Europe with an iron grip, he wants a second go at the NBA. Unless money will become an issue. Hailing from the small, sun-kissed African Isle of Cape Verde, Tavares's journey began as a humble 17-year-old working as a cashier in his grandmother's shop after school. Basketball hadn't yet seeped into his veins, but fate intervened when a German tourist chanced upon this undiscovered gem. The tourist alerted the esteemed Spanish club, Gran Canaria, thus igniting a journey that would forever change Tavares's destiny. After a string of fruitful years in Spain, he was drafted by the Atlanta Hawks in 2014 and made his NBA debut a year later. Yet, his time in the States proved to be bittersweet, a period marred by a mere dozen appearances donning the Hawks' colors and a solitary game for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Yes. Though his stint in the NBA might bear the letter of disappointment, one must tread gently before casting judgment upon Tavares or the organizations he served. It's important to recall that before donning an NBA jersey, Tavares had honed his basketball for just six years. Right now Tavares has an offer from the Portland Trailblazers for a multi-year contract. The biggest obstacle to the deal is the massive buyout clause imposed by Real Madrid. For sources, the NBA buyout for Tavares is more than 6 million euros or 6.5 million US dollars. What should the Blazers expect from Tavares? First and foremost, Tavares is a defensive player and a great rim protector thanks to his height and a 7 foot 10 or 240 centimeter wingspan which terrifies players in Europe. A master of the art of shot blocking, he shattered records during the previous EuroLeague campaign leaving would-be scorers disheartened in his wake. The art of rejection seems effortless for Tavares, yet behind each blocked attempt lies defensive awareness, instincts honed to perfection, and a flawless sense of timing. Yeah, he doesn't just rely on his height and wingspan. It is also no surprise that Tavares is an excellent rebounder. 6.9 boards per game ranked him as the second best in the EuroLeague last season and he was top four in both offensive and defensive rebounds. On offense Tavares shines as a pick and roll player. His screens are great, his movement and decision making awesome and once he gets the ball in his stride it is very difficult to stop Tavares. He has the physical power to challenge NBA athletes. A potential chink in Tavares's armor lies in turnovers. He lost the ball 2.1 times on average in the EuroLeague, which ranked him at 13th place in front of many primary ball handlers. Admittedly, EuroLeague lacks the defensive three-second rule, thereby enabling defenders to swarm the paint even before the ball is passed to Tavares. They can easily double or triple team him once he gets the ball down low. Tavares isn't selfish and sees open teammates, but it's easier said than done when multiple defenders try to manhandle you. Looking at Tavares's net rating last season, it is obvious how vital he is to Madrid's success. A net rating of plus 13 is one of the best in the EuroLeague and means that while Tavares is on the court, Real Madrid outscores their opponent by 13 points per 100 possessions. To illustrate how massive Tavares's impact was, let's look at the net rating stat in the NBA. The highest net rating for a player who played more than a couple of minutes and more than 10 games in the playoffs was Boston Celtics' Sam Hauser with 13.1. In the regular season, if the criteria is more than 10 minutes per game and at least half of the games, the one with the best net rating is Nikola Jokic at 12.5. Only time will reveal the next chapter in this saga. As the Blazers need size and defensive abilities in the front court, signing Tavares would be a good choice. Just don't expect him to be a major scorer as his low post skills are bad, and he struggles when taking on opponents with his back to the basket. The stage is set and the decision awaits. Will Tavares spread his wings and soar to new heights or forever remain confined within the storied halls of European basketball?